Alrighty, Bob, welcome back to the jungle. Gonna be playing Volley Bear versus Diana. Pretty easy matchup. The main deal here, what I've really noticed recently, if I have, if I have Enchanter support, aka my girlfriend Sona, and they have melee support, we're path and bot side. To fight for Void Grubs and things like that becomes so, so hard. You cover a lot of bases by pathing bot side too. If a mistake happens there, on the first turn you can get a freebie. If it goes even, then you're in the right place at the right time. If your team's winning, you can invade. And then not having to uh, be permanently topside turn two and three makes it so that I'm not like in a, I don't randomly find myself trying to fight for Void Grubs against a Diana. Oh, I win Diana. Oh, but then here comes Thresh. Like, nah, I'm good. For the runes here, we have PTA, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Stand, and then Magical Footwear and Cosmic Insight. Volley Bear is a tempo champion. He spins himself for the team and the overall game state, so there's nothing too important when it comes to our build and runes. What's important is that we're at the right place doing the right thing at the right time. Well, where is that, Sawyer? Hold on, Bob. Give me a second, okay? All right, these guys are trading too hard, so it just looks like there's going to be high variance down here. So we'll go ahead and skip our camps and then try to gank bot lane. I'll move through their blue side so that I have the flank onto that Thresh and Aphilios. And we'll focus that Aphilios, see what we can do. Go ahead and put a ward right there. See that Diana starts in her red side. Okay. Coming in, boys. Q. And then we are going to Q, E, Flash, W. Nice. Probably walk it out here, honestly. Nice. Alrighty, noob down. Next step. Honestly, reset. My health is spent. They're trying to crash that wave. Nice. We can win. We can win. Diana, you have to choose. Once she spins abilities, Q, E, W. Now she has her E again. We're going to E, Q, W, auto. Auto. Nice. Diana threw it right into the garbage, man. And now we reset, I guess. Can't go into that river. There could be a spooky little mage in there. All right, Bob. So we got the Aphilios Flash. So now we just want to do that again. Um, I guess Sundered Sky. Ruby Crystal Longsword. And then a Control Ward. I'll swap to Sweeper now. And then out we go. By the time that I do the Scuttle Crab, um, I can clear my blue side down. And then that'll give me level 5. The bot wave is bouncing back. So I won't have a gank on this turn. The Thresh can ward. My bot lane's not in lane. It's not time to go bot. So we'll go to the top side so that we can path towards bot lane later. This wave will bounce. And then it will crash. Bounce back to my team. When it's bouncing back to my team, that's my turn to gank. Until then, we can just be farming. And that's okay. Because we go from level 3 to level 5. We win a play on the bot side. We also get the dragon too. So that's pretty good. Enchanter support, hyper, hyper carry, and jinx having scaling on dragons. Pretty good. A lot of people have been asking me for Volley Bear. This champion is tremendously boring, Bob. When you're playing this shit at high elo, we're in master tier right now. Yeah, like anyone can play Volley Bear in a sense. To noob stomp is another thing, but this champion is like all for the team. And boy, is that boring. I want to play all for me, man. I want to be hardcore, but my mom won't let me. Now, Diana shows bot lane. I could take those Void Grubs for free right now, but I'm going to keep pathing bot here, keep clearing my camps, get level 5, and keep playing for my bot lane. Because on that wave bounce, maybe they try to attack my bot lane. Go ahead and put my control word on Dragon. I don't want you taking that. Oh, nice. Yeah, I don't want you taking that. Now, do I? Vigar is level 5. Control ward. Q. He used his ghost. Ari is not level 6. Oh, we can try for a smite fight here. Vigar with his noodle auto attacks. E. Auto. Auto. Smite. Nice, we got it. Q onto Aphilios. W. Auto. Auto. <laughs> Come on, man. Auto. Come on, man. Now, what my teammates were doing, you got me, but it's a Jinx Sona. Nothing to be expected. Tunneler, Longsword, Control Ward, out we go. <clears throat> Welp, might as well clean up my camps, man. Get level 5. To go to the Void Grubs is a bit much, once again. 
That should have been an easy ass fight, man. A Vigar with no mana, a Filios Thresh with no items, and then a Diana. Guys, that's as easy as it's gonna get. Once those champions get level six and get their ultis, things get a lot harder. Alrighty. My teammates are showing a real skill issue here. We're gonna be maxing the Q first, giving us more movement speed. So that we can get on top of the target and get that stun. It also lowers the cooldown too, so. Once we're later in the game, have one item completed, then we can actually get two stuns off. So the wave crashes here. Eventually, this minion wave will bounce back to my Jinx. And whenever that happens, then I can try to gank bot lane. Wow, I only need one more camp after this to get level 6. Jump smite. Pretty sure this bush is warded, so this is probably a mistake. Yeah, they're, the way the Aphelios moves to the left there is telling me everything. My bot lane is pushing the wave back. What I can do is just cross through mid. Since my bot lane keeps pushing that wave, it doesn't help me in any way. My Ari totally backs off. Well, Bob, let's do Raptors. That bot, you know, the sun will rise and that bot wave will bounce back. Oh, I'm not level 6. Oh, close. Sona, Q. Noob down. Sona, baby, I'm coming. But if I save you, you gotta give me a kiss, okay? Q, moving. Stun, W. Auto, W, E. Auto. Oh! Sona, come on, pucker up. Well, my Jinx died. I got a kill. Looks like my lanes are losing, though. A real volley bear moment, man. When I said this champ is boring, it's because allies can lose lane. That shouldn't be allowed whenever you lock in a tank jungler. It just ain't right. All lanes should win, and I should have a fun time. Who's with me? Well, we killed Aphelios again. I'm kind of on the same path here. I can path towards bot side, and then once I clear these camps, get a level up, then I can enter the river and have a pretty good time either ganking mid or ganking bot with level six jinx baby come on one in three come on with level six now we can dive some turrets with our ulti easier said than done i always find myself not being able to ulti as volley bear why the lanes are losing man are you new here oh yeah yeah sona didn't give me a kiss my jinx dies these girls are just strange, I don't know. Maybe it's the way I talk to them. Got the level up, Bob. Time to move into the river, Bob. Show this guy what's up, Bob. We're going to Q, smite. Auto, W, E, moving, auto, auto. Auto. Who's the big man? W. Auto. Ulti. A swing and a miss. W. Oh. Bob, was that a turret shot or just Diana's Q? The ulti duration, the turret disabled duration on the ultimate went down with the nerf. And boy, do I feel it. You need to take one turret shot and then ulti that turret, I swear. If you just ulti it outright, it's gonna... It's barely gonna do anything. Well, shit, Bob. We don't have ulti anymore, but it's still into the river. We got a sweeper now, we got two control wards, and we got Sundered Sky completed. 45 AD, 450 HP, 15 ability haste. And then whenever we hit the enemy, we heal some and crit them, so it's more initial damage. The Q will apply that Sundered Sky as well. That's a whole lot more brawling power. Especially when you hit multiple targets, you get a lot of value out of that extra damage and then healing. W, E, Q, auto, 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 what W, <laughs> yep, yeah, outplayed Buster. I'm <laughs> pretty good at Volley Bear myself. Yep, not everyone is. Me personally, yeah, I'm pretty good at him, as you can see. Who could have done that play? Moving, auto, auto, smite. 
these busters are gonna get away. Q E W auto. Auto. Boom. Nice. W auto. <laughs> you see the smack? Wow! Aphilios won't hear for a week after that one. Nice, Bob. We got the dragon. Boom. We killed the bot lane. Bang. We're fucking in it to win it. Take a little snack on the way out. Right before I go into hibernation mode. To the top side. Gonna be maxing the W second. Giving me more skirmishing power. Diana, Renekton. Gonna need it against them. Merc treads. And then I guess... What the fuck am I building now? Winged moon plate. Hard to go wrong with that one. Oh. Okay. The minions took... A Jinx, come on. I'm not there for two seconds. What's the deal? I might as well fight the Void Grubs, man. I don't know. Because the rotation should be every time I reset to the top side. They crash a wave and reset. Target champions only Q, E, W, auto. Auto, smite. Oh, I messed my smite. Auto, 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 chomp. Q. Oh, that was easy. Yeah, I'm pretty good at Volley Bear. Yeah. Alrighty, and since my mid lane doesn't have a wave, we really don't have any sort of dive here. Diana didn't have red buffs, so that gave me a pretty good signal. Take red. Cross through mid. Gank bot lane. That's the plan. Whoa. Ari, push. Hurry up. Oh, a TP, I see. Ulti? Oh, Jinx doesn't even care to move. I see. The Vigar flash. I'm coming, I'm coming, we can dive. Q, moving. E. Auto, W. Nice. I have six kills, yes. Volleybear takes some skill, I know. Now Diana's topside, so we might as well just push here. They're gonna do whatever they're gonna do up there. Now, honestly, the sooner we end bot laning phase, the better. We only got one Void Grub to our name, but it is what it is. I played for bot side, I got my two dragons. She got her five Void Grubs. And my ADC has five deaths, regardless. Isn't that something? Not gonna be able to finish off this turret, I don't think. What is that? Another reset. Now this uh, this Rift Herald is pretty big for Volley Bear. It gives you access to attack a turret in another way. So I definitely want to try to get that one. Chain Vest. Uh, sell that and then get a Ruby Crystal to the top side. The Dead Man's Play will give me more movement speed. It also acts like an on-hit item in a sense. Every time you move around you get bonus, like bonus physical damage on hit. Alrighty, I think just right to the um, Rift Herald here. Jinx doing what she does best. EQ. W, moving. Auto, moving. Auto. Auto, W. Auto, ulti. Oh, finish off this guy. Bring down the storm. Bob, I shouldn't be the one to get all the kills here. Eight kills, but it is what it is. Kill the bad guy, take the objective. That's the name of the game. Boy, Volley Bear. It's not even like... it's. It just happens for me. I'm not doing this on Volley Bear. Someone else is playing Volley Bear. The kills just come to Volley Bear himself. That's the thing. I don't know. I started climbing this season. Yeah. Yeah, I hit Challenger with Volley Bear. Stay away from my kids. Nice. Right. Dead Man's Plate and then to that dragon. Get a control word too. So Dead Man's Plate gives us, um, what is it? 300 HP, 45 armor, 5% movement speed, and then the passive shipwrecker that gives us bonus movement speed the more we move around. And then on hit damage, uh, that slows the enemy when it's at full stacks. That deals physical damage too, so it adds to our damage profile. Alrighty, Bob, we really want to win this dragon. Easier said than done. Just 
Step one, cut off the entrances. What? That's your engage, guys. They're in front of the turret. It's so bad. Boing. E, Q. Stun. Nice. Well, you had me nervous because I didn't have ulti, but it's going to work out. Okay, and now dragon. Yes. Yes. Maybe it was good. One thing is Volley Bear is that you want f these fights to happen. But usually I like to take them on my own turn where I'm the engage. It's been at least three seasons since I saw my own allies engage, so I got kind of nervous there. Alrighty, play is done. I'm going to go back, clean up some camps, and then we can look for a play afterwards. We're not going to hit level 11 here. Or be on a particular power spike, but it's still fine to, feel, to be farming since those objectives are down. Might be thinking, should I have covered Jinx? No, that's the girlfriend's job, not mine. You know, she watches my place when I go to work. Nice, I'm going to be level 11 off like four camps. Ketchup XP is really beast, man. Made for a real behemoth such as myself. A real dumbass that fights everything in sight. Go ahead and smite these, there's no objective coming up. Into the river, Bob. Now we have this Rift Herald, but you need to make a play first before you use that Rift Herald. Aphilios. Whoa! Sorty, sorty, ulti away. I see, you had a Thresh in the bush, an expert move. Why, you guys are taking this? <laughs> e. A TP, Q, Flash, Auto, W. Smite, Auto. Just keep hitting, Bob. Just keep hitting him. <laughs> They're all dead. A volley bear takes skill, baby. Now we're going to save the Rift Herald for the next turret. Since they're all four dead, we want to take the base turret with that Rift Herald. Yeah, I'll be the driver, ladies. Stand back. Boom. Bonk. Holy shit, we get an inhib too? That's Jinx passive right there, putting in work. No way this thing bonks onto the base turrets. Oh, well, it's never... Lady driver, you know what I mean? Q, moving. Stun. W, auto. Kiting. E, moving. W, auto. Run. Q. Ah! At least we got Vigar's ulti. <laughs> Get some magic resist, huh? Even Renekton dealt 420 magic resist. Shout out to Darian, blaze it. Let's see, what magic resist options do we have here, Volley Bear? Locket of the Iron Solari. That looks pretty good. But that's only 30 magic resist. But that is looking pretty good. Give a shield to all my girlfriends. You think they'd like me if I did that? Hmm. Let's try it out. Control ward and right to the Baron. I just need like this Gromp in blue and then I'm level 12. And yeah, then we're in position on the Baron. If we get a pick, we get that bad boy. If not, it's okay. The dragon's coming up in 130. So I'm just looking for the level up and then we can look for a fight. Locket gives us 20, 200 HP, 30 armor and MR. 10 ability haste and the active that gives our allies um, extra HP from that shield. What? I didn't... W. The smite didn't hit both. Alrighty, I'm still not level... Level 12. I'm gonna put my control word on this shit. You know how it goes. Sona on the team. Well, 50 seconds to the Dragon Soul. We still have that to play for. It doesn't really matter that Diana got the shutdown. Just try to get in here and... Whoa! Oh, you better be scared, big man. 
We're not playing for this blue buff. We need to be playing for the mid wave here. Whoa, they got a kill? A weird fight, but we could take it. Q, E. It's fine, it's fine. Q, W, auto. Auto. Lock it, auto. Auto. W. Kiting. Nice. The Jinx isn't going forward here, so I can't press forward into Aphilios. As Volibear, you are a melee support, and don't forget it. Well, I'm the big man. I'm the. Fu I'm gonna play like a. I don't know, like a Jax. Nah, I've played better champs than Volibear. I know what it feels like to be a super omega fed champion. Volibear, just kind of bulky, kind of dumb. Not gonna use Smite on this since we have better position, and then it's right to Baron. Right to the Baron. The Diana is still dead for four. We have more than enough time. If you look at the enemy's position too, they're playing it too safe, man. They didn't spend any of the time of us doing Dragon to push out mid and then come contest us. So, hey man, Chuck Testa, we're gonna have to do this shit now. You're too slow. You done goofed. How about that? How old is he? How does he know these memes? Now Diana can steal. Wait. No, we're not waiting, huh? E? Auto, W smite, and Ari got it. Well played, Ari. Good job. Ulti. Q. W. Moving. E. Boom. Oh. Lock it. W. Q. Auto. E. Auto. Oh, I really died. Clean him up. Don't get ulted. Ugh. Uh, you didn't even try to dodge W. So much for Baron buff, man. <laughs> Alrighty, Bob, listen. Look at my HP pool. How much damage do you think I took right there? I have 2,800 HP. That's right. We took 5,600 damage. That's only boosted 700 for Baron, too. That's ridiculous. So much healing. Wait, will we? If I bought a real tank item, though, I would have lived. The locket's kind of not the juice. Let's just get some magic resist, some HP, and get out there. Whatever. Doesn't really matter what item we build at this point. Right, so we have Baron buff on Sona and Set. I'm going to take the red buff, give that to everyone. That will help our siege. And then we can wrap this one up. Boom. The Jinx ultis are good. Alrighty. On this on this stage of the game, we just stay with our carry and push. Q, moving. E, W, ulti, smite, auto, auto, W, moving, auto. <laughs> they die so quick. Yeah, take the turret, no minions, don't need them. Push, push, push. Are you out of your mind, Diana? Guys, the minions. We got 10 seconds on their death timers, and then it's three minutes of purgatory. What are we thinking? Q, E, auto, W, auto. <sighs> well, Vigar is up. We could still take this in time, though. No, we can't. Man. Now here comes their whole team. Just to look at us funny. Q, W, auto. So much for the locket. Oh, wish me luck. Ooh. <laughs> Set with the flank? W. Holy shit. Damn. Charm, Q. W, Q. Vigar Ghost. Dude, Vigar is in such a bad spot as a champion. Look at this pathetic little weasel. What was once a champion? <laughs> Seraph's brocked from a minion. Oh, yeah, yeah. Five seconds till they spawn. I think they can get a turret, but I don't think we end. Already 
get out of there. If we're not ending, might as well reset. You got the Elder Dragon coming up. I'm actually just going to go into their jungle, get that red buff. Set has the same idea. Alright, I'll just do our blue buff. Play for that Elder Dragon that's coming up. Since everyone's resetting, I'm not taking a fight into their jungle. We'll clear my camps and then be in position for the dragon. If I move into their jungle, there's just no telling who's going to be there. And if we're going to be outnumbered, get TP'd on. Stupid stuff like that is what really delays the game. Because if I die there, I'm dead for 50 seconds. If I'm dead for 50 seconds, the enemy has position on Elder. If they win an Elder fight, the game's delayed by another 4 minutes. And that's just not worth to get another kill on the 9 and 10 Diana. Just like that, man. You were reaching into that jungle and I hope you found what you were looking for. But Diana is dead, but it doesn't really matter. I could try to push top lane, but it's really up to the enemy to screw this up. W. Oh, they screwed it up. That Aphelios was so far forward. Because they used the lantern? Bang, that's three inhibs now. I'm going to try to eat this bot wave so that the next wave pushes faster. That gives us better position. Whether we stay in here like dumbasses or go to dragon. Come on down, fellas. To the objective. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, I'm pretty good uh, on Volley Bear. I get the objectives. Yeah, I'm level 14 at 28 minutes. That's pretty good, right? It's higher level than I get on a Moo Moo because that champ sucks and he's in fact a small guy. Yeah, smite at 13 HP. Let's just push it down, honestly. It's 13 on Baron. Let's just do Baron, you know? Let's just, let's just go ahead and take that instead of pushing down. Who's with me? Diana shows, so it makes it pretty simple. Okay, thank Christ. I had that thought in the back of my head. Is my mic muted? Alrighty, let's do this. Bob, you don't know how many games I've recorded where my mic was muted. That's a good TP right there. Diana, I love you. Q, moving. Not flashing or anything crazy. Q, ulti. Now we have good position on the fight. Lock it, moving. Ari's in. And I helped. Nice. And I helped. Boom. My kill. E, W. Aw. GG, final score 10, 5, and 15. I forgot I got like 20 kills in the early game. And you see where it goes on Volley Bear. Even if you get a massive lead, you only get so far ahead. You really spike in the mid game no matter what. You run this curve where it's like, okay, and you're gonna stay there. So you might as well like build it, build, start building tanky, and then you have to play for your team. That's just what the champion does. You become a stun bot, Bear Stance Udyr. Not a bad game though. I'll put us at Masters 43 LP, final damage dealt 18,000, and damage tanked 40,000. 40 big. PTA dealing 1,500. It's another way to think about PTA too. Whenever we hit them with Q, that's one proc. Auto, two, W, three. PTA is proc'd. And then you have this exposed damage, and that deals a pretty good amount of damage where you increase your allies' damage by 8%. So whenever you have these carries like Ari and Jinx, they follow up on your CC, even more damage. That's pretty good. With like no downside, there's no other runes to run. What are we going to run? Aftershock? Pass. Alrighty, Bob. To the like 10 people that kept asking for Volley Bear. There you go. There you go. Don't at, you know, I'll see, you might see Volley Bear in two weeks. Until then, peace. Bye-bye.